The Spark of Human Imagination and the Birth of Voyager The Journey Outward The Journey Outward The Journey Outward A story of a single spark, born not from the soil beneath our feet, but from the boundless sky of the human spirit. It is a story that does not begin on Earth itself, but within the limitless expanse of imagination. A dream passed down through generations, whispered among those who lifted their gaze to the stars and dared to ask, what lies beyond the night? For as long as humanity has existed, we have looked upward, beyond clouds, past the moon, past the edges of what the eye can see, and felt the magnetic, almost sacred pull of the unknown. From that timeless yearning came a traveler, a creation unlike anything humanity had ever built or even dared to dream of building. It was forged not merely from metal and circuitry, but from courage, curiosity, and an unwavering belief that knowledge, once sought, is worth any distance. This traveler carried no crew, no flag, no map, only purpose. It carried something far greater, the restless spirit of its makers, and the fragile hope of a world eager to be heard among the stars. This is Voyager 1, a gleam of gold and silver, a spark of human brilliance, the farthest object ever crafted by human hands. It sails through the dark, a silent messenger of Earth, carrying our memories, our voices, our story into the eternal sea of night. Voyager does not rest upon the Earth, nor orbit the Moon, nor linger among the familiar planets we call near. Instead, it journeys forward, alone yet unyielding, wrapped in the stillness of eternity. Beyond Mars and Jupiter, past the icy rings of Saturn, Voyager drifts into a sea of shadows, a place without maps, without borders, without sunlight's warmth. Only the faint hum of infinity surrounds it, and the quiet echo of its own determination keeps it alive. In the summer of 1977, Voyager rose from the Earth, a fragile dream wrapped in courage and steel. It was small, no larger than a family car. Its power was faint, its memory tiny, its eyes sharp and filled with wonder. Built with technology simpler than a child's calculator, it carried instruments as delicate as whispers. Yet its purpose was monumental, to reach beyond the cradle of Earth, to gaze upon worlds unseen, and to bring their images home. Guided by mathematics, by hope, and by trembling hands that believed the human story did not end beneath one sky, Voyager 1 began its odyssey. Now, more than four decades later, Voyager has traveled over 22 billion kilometers from home, a distance so vast it humbles the imagination itself. And still, it endures. Its signal, faint as cosmic dust, weaker than a candle seen from the moon, still threads its way across the dark. Somehow, Earth still listens. Across deserts and plains, through the midnight silence of observatories, giant radio dishes turn toward the stars, searching for a heartbeat in an ocean of silence. Each pulse that returns is fragile, a whisper from the edge of the sun's reach, a memory carried across time and distance, a thread binding who we were to who we still hope to become. Voyager's story is not about distance alone. It is about discovery, endurance, and wonder. About a small machine built by fragile beings that dared to challenge eternity. It is the story of Earth's first message to the stars, a dream too vast to remain bound to one world. Voyager does not speak in words. It speaks through persistence, through the quiet pulse of a signal that refuses to fade. It is proof that humanity, though brief and small in the grand scale of the cosmos, possesses a will that can outlast silence, a light that can pierce the dark. This is the beginning of that journey, the journey outward into the endless night, where a single human creation sails on, carrying the story of us all, a cosmic legacy. The Odyssey through the solar system and beyond. In the 1960s, NASA engineer Gary Flandro noticed a secret written across the heavens. A rare alignment of the outer planets, fleeting and precise. Between 1977 and 1980, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune would align perfectly, an event that occurs only once every 176 years. 
Using their gravity, a single spacecraft could leap from one world to the next, each planet flinging it farther outward like a stone skipping across a cosmic sea. NASA seized the opportunity. Two spacecraft were born, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, twin ambassadors of exploration and wonder. Voyager 2 launched first, blazing through the sky in fire and faith. Voyager 1 followed 15 days later, its path set toward the mysteries of the outer worlds. The mission was expected to last only four years. But destiny had far grander plans. At Jupiter, Voyager discovered a planet alive with storms, vast tempests swirling in colors unseen, cyclones larger than Earth, lightning flickering across clouds like veins of fire. On Io, a moon once thought dead, Voyager revealed volcanic activity hurling molten rock into the blackness of space. At Saturn, its cameras unveiled rings more intricate than anyone had imagined, ribbons of ice and dust dancing in cosmic harmony, tiny moons carving graceful paths through silver light. Then came Titan, a world cloaked in orange haze, thick with organic molecules, whispers of chemistry that once gave birth to life itself. Beyond Saturn, Voyager 2 pressed onward, reaching Uranus and Neptune, two distant giants once seen only as pale blue dots. At Uranus, it revealed a tilted, ghostly world with a twisted magnetic field. At Neptune, a sapphire giant roared with winds faster than sound. On Triton, geysers of frozen nitrogen proved that even in the farthest dark, worlds still breathe. For the first time, distant points of light became living worlds, vivid, complex, and breathtakingly beautiful. And all of it was achieved with technology simpler than a digital watch. Voyager's computer held just 68 kilobytes of memory. Its radio was no stronger than a household bulb, yet its whispers crossed billions of kilometers to reach home. Then came the edge, the invisible border where the sun's warmth fades and the dominion of the stars begins. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the frontier where our star's breath ends and interstellar winds begin. For the first time in history, a human creation stepped into another realm, interstellar space. Its instruments detected faint plasma waves, ripples of cosmic energy drifting through the dark like echoes of the universe itself. Still, Voyager moves onward toward the Oort cloud, a vast halo of ancient comets encircling the solar system like a frozen crown. To cross that silent realm will take 30,000 years. By then, Earth will have changed beyond recognition, yet Voyager will endure a lonely spark drifting through eternity, carrying the memory of the world that made it. Its power fades instrument by instrument, light by light, until one day only silence remains. Yet even that silence is not the end. Voyager carries something eternal. The Golden Record, a time capsule forged in gold, a message to the cosmos and to time itself. Etched upon it are greetings in 55 languages, Sounds of our world, waves crashing, wind sighing, laughter of children, the heartbeat of humanity. Music spans from Bach to blind Willie Johnson, from ancient chants to joyful songs, a symphony of earth woven into a single record. Images of DNA, forests, rivers, mountains, and cities create a portrait of a world once alive. The golden record is more than metal and sound, it is a love letter to the cosmos. A declaration that we lived, we dreamed, and we reached beyond our home to touch infinity. Perhaps one distant day, another civilization, or our own descendants, will find Voyager drifting through the quiet dark. They will open that record and hear us, our laughter, our songs, our heartbeat. They will know that once, on a small blue world bathed in sunlight, life looked up and wondered. Voyager 1 is more than a spacecraft. It is a monument to curiosity, a symbol of persistence, a mirror of the human spirit. It transformed distant points of light into living worlds and carried our questions to the edge of forever. Now, as it sails beyond the reach of any sun, 
Voyager drifts through the vastness, a silent envoy of Earth, whispering across the cosmic sea. What lies beyond the stars? Who are we truly?